So here we are at uh, chapter 3, Internal Rates of Returns, what we call the IRR. IRR is the performance of an investment over a period of time. This is the most fascinating calculation which takes in account the return on investment in cash on cash return and the capital growth that uh, occur within the time frame that uh, you hold the property. Calculating the internal rate of returns, the IRR, is a um, calculation which taking in account two basic return on investments. One is the cash on cash return, and you can refer to the video of chap chapter two, which is the cash on cash return video. You can find the link below. And the capital growth over time. For this particular example, we will be using a 10% capital growth per annum. Based on the numbers in chapter video two, we have a purchase price of $300,000. Deposit, which we used in the deal as cash deposit of $60,000. And net income of cash of $10,400. Again, you can uh, refer to chapter two, video two about uh, cash on cash return to familiarize yourself how to do this calculation. So the calculated cash on cash return is 17.3% in that case. If uh, you put a deposit of uh, $60,000 cash and receive $10,400 return on that investment, the return is 17.3%. So let's see how we calculate the IRR. Year one, 300K, $300,000 at 10% capital growth, it's 30,000 equity increase every year. Or should I say equity increase on the first year? $30,000 plus the cash on cash return, which we have of $10,400 for the first year. This is an overall return of $40,400. So let's calculate the internal rate of return on our initial investment of $60,000. Like we said, the overall return of $40,400 divided by the cash which we put in the deal, which is $60,000, whether it's a deposit, then the return on that is 67.3%, internal rate of return. That's the true return on your money, including the cash and the capital growth. It's a whopping 67.3% internal rate of return. And this is for the first year. Now, let's see how the IRR in year two looks like. Net income cash increase. It increases with inflation. So let's say it's risen to 11,700. House value increased by another 10% to 363,000. So remember, the initially purchase price was 300,000. Then we had the capital growth of 30,000, 30, which is 330. Now 330,000 in the second year, time 10% will be 363,000. So we're taking 363,000 and the increase in cash flow now that we have 11,700 with the $60,000 deposit. We're taking the growth in uh, capital growth. The property have increased initially in the first year from 300 to 330. And the second year, it's gone up by 10% as well. So 330 times 10% is 363,000. The net income, the cash return, increased to 11,700. 
and we are using the same deposit which we put in the deal when we purchased the property. So the total increase of 63,000 over the two years plus the 11,700 comes up to 74,700. Divide that to the deposit we put in the beginning when we purchased the property, which is 60,000. This is an equivalent over two years of 124% internal rate of return on the $60,000 cash in the deal. And what if there is no deposit at all? If, and you're still enjoying the capital gain and the increased cash on cash return or cash flow. If, if there is 100% finance, no money down in the deal, the return is a massive infinite return because you're receiving the cash flow and the growth on no money down. Thank you for watching the three series of videos about return on investment. We look forward, we look forward presenting you with some more video with, within our how-to video playlist. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with latest video as they come available.